Hi guys and you're welcome to a new video. My name is Tolumi Abiola Oyedichi and I am your fashion teacher. Today I want to teach you how you can make this beautiful sleeve that I've shown you in the picture and I've got the actual dress right here and then this is the actual sleeve so it's like a mix of um, the regular straight normal sleeve which is here and then it's got a circular a short circular flare here and then the puffy sleeve right here so that is the sleeve i want to show you. it's a really really beautiful sleeve because it's got it's like three in one because it's got like the regular one regular straight sleeve and it's got the circular one and um this puffy one right here so it's a beautiful sleeve so that's what i want to show you and uh, we're going right to it um tony zen's voice is in the background so please ignore and don't be distracted with my son's voice <laughs> so yeah let's get started to this this is the fabric i am using i have um I'm using a plain one just so that a plain one and a pattern one just so you can see I'm cutting both of them without exactly you know mixing things up yeah so I'm using two different fabrics if you're making yours you don't have to use two different fabrics you can use the same fabric you know but the actual design that I did on this one was two different fabrics fabrics because I wanted it to be that way and then I'm just using these two different fabrics to show you you don't have to do the same yours can be different yours can be the same so we're going to start by cutting this and then afterwards we're going to cut this now i have done a video previously on how you can cut a regular fitted straight sleeves i am going to put um, the link in the description box below so you can refer to that to know how to cut this upper part just this upper straight part you're going to see that in the video that i put the link in the description box you're going to see that so um usually for this kind of sleeve you may not want it to be too long because if it's too long it may not be very pretty so for mine from the shoulder this is where my shoulder is i did a mix of two fabric here so you don't you can ignore that and then you can just assume everything is just the same fabric from here to here so for mine i have done about 10, 10 inches there so you can see it's actually nine and a half inches but i think i cut about 10 or 10 and a half plus the allowance so that's what i have done you know for my first part which is the fitted sleeve you may want to do the same for yours so you can just cut like 10 and a half you know for yours by the time you join this to it and you join the air it's going to come back to about nine and a half so you watch the video and do this part which is the straight part and then if you got that then you are set to do this and this now um very importantly you need the width of air you can decide to use the exact width or you make yours a bit um fuller for this one that i did you will see that i've got some tiny gathers and tiny pleat here because i made my circular to be a bit bigger because i wanted it to be a bit fuller so um that's what i did so if we measure the circumference here the circumference here is about six inches so i cut up which is six inches on one side that's a total of 12. so what i cut was about 16 and then i just gathered the excess you know gathered and tiny plates for all the excesses and then i just did all around so we're going to cut the circular piece first now the length of the circular piece as i'm showing you here is six inches but what i did cut was a total of seven inches so i cut seven inches but the length here is six inches so we're going to be cutting six inches and we need a total width of um and we need a total width of um, 16 inches so 16 inches by 6 inches so for the first part what we are cutting is um, a circular cut that's what we need to create that first part and then i need you to watch how i'm going to cut this please ignore tony zane's voice <laughs> so i need you to watch how i'm going to cut this um so i've just got my fabric it's a whole width of about 60 inches and i've just folded into two this way I folded it over into two I'm just gonna fold once more this way I can cut the two sleeves at once so I'm gonna fold once more which is this way 
so basically i'm gonna go over it again i had my fabric i am using raw silk for this it's a raw silk fabric so most sample fabrics come in length of 60 inches so this is mine a total length of 60 inches this way the 60 inches and I folded it into two along the length and then I'm gonna fold it into two again I didn't fold it along the yardage I folded it along the length if you've got Ankara you can do the same thing with your Ankara yes you can so um I folded it into four so yeah that's my fabric in four folded over into four then what I'm gonna do again is just fold once more so now I'm just folding along the yardage now. Yeah, and my fold is complete. And this way that I folded it, I'm going to be able to cut everything, you know. I mean, the sleeves for both for both, um, for both, both and um, at the same time. I'm going to be able to cut it at the same time. So now, remember that we need a total width of 16. Now, each piece, we need two pieces. Each piece has been folded into four. So this is one four, and then below, it's another four. So... If we are folded into it to four and we need a total of 16, it means that the circumference I'm going to need on one side, which is air, will be four inches. So I am going to try to get my four inches. So I'm going to be using a marker just so you can see properly. So um, I'm just going to mark a random two and a half air and another random two and a half air. I'm just going to try to mark it on all points just so that I'll be able to join my point together. So I'm going to join all those points together. So I've joined all these my points together and I'm going to try to measure it to see if I have 4 inches. If I have more than 4, I'm going to reduce. So I have a bit more than 4. I have 4 and a half. So I'm just going to come down. I'm just going to come down and redraw this. I'll come in a bit and redraw. So I'm going to remeasure this and see if I have 4 inches. I think I have exactly 4 inches. I'm not going to worry about allowance really because by the time I sew it, it's, got, it's going to be wider. So that's why I'm not putting any allowance here. So this is going to be 4 inches. Now the length of the sleeve was 6 inches. We're adding 1 to make it 7. So from the 4 inch point, I'm going to just mark my 7 here. So from this upper line, which is the one we're using, I'm marking my 7 in several points. You can see I'm just marking it on several points and then I'm just going to join it all together. So I've marked it on several points and I'm just going to join it all together. So yeah, so I'm going to cut it out now. cut it out and then I'm just going to open it so I've opened it up into two now this point is important for me to notch I'm going to notch here and here so I've just notched both points you know so when I spread out I can know where the center is so this is it so this should give me you know a total of 16 inches so yes this is all cut and what I've done is just spread it out and then um, this is the way the sleeve is going to be this is the circle now it's very important you um, add lining because you need to you need two of this for each sleeve if you want to use the same fabric for the lining it's okay you can just cut for this but if you want to use a separate fabric then you use then you cut the the other fabric and make it exactly like this now when you are done it's time to put the stay the stay is very important because that's what's going to make it structured so if you look at this you can see that this is structured and it is odd you can see so it's very important and an odd, another thing that you have to do is um, make sure that you put the stay on the wrong side so you can see my stay is on this side and if you notice this side is a bit wrinkled when you put stay it may many times especially when it's paper stay it gives you this kind of wrinkles you know on the fabric that you put it on when you check on the right side so what I always do is that I make sure that I put my stay on the lining and on the wrong side so the right side is smooth and it is fine and then my lining my stay is on the lining which is the wrong side so um 
it's very important you do that at this stage if you don't know what the stay is you can check um, my previous video the video I made on how to you can sew appliques it's the exact type of stay that I used in that video that you're gonna use so it is the paper stay that you're gonna use for this you don't need to use a cloth stay if a paper stay is just fine so we are done with the first step remember um, you need two of that and then when you when you put the stay what you need to do is turn it on the lower part make a seam on the lower part all round on both the lining fabric and the main fabric and then you turn it inside out so if you look at the one I did you can see this side here this is the part that is turned you know and then this you know it's just right and then you're going to be joining this to the sleeve so that's the first part and now we're going to cut the second part